Oh my god, this is gonna be so great! It's Lacey, and here's a picture of my couch before. I really had my heart set on a pink couch from Ikea, but when I went to go buy it, they were unfortunately out of stock and it had been discontinued. So I found this beauty on eBay for $150. It's a vintage French provincial style sofa with a damask fabric on a solid wood frame, and I could not beat the price. So the measurements were right and I bought it and I knew that I could paint it and dye it. And that's what I'm doing. So I got this chalky paint from Lowe's. Um, and it only comes in select color, so I obviously got the pink. And I also used a water bottle, mini paint brushes for the trim, and a regular paintbrush. I have a pretty steady hand for trim work, but you could also use painter tape to uh, seal the trim if needed. So I painted the couch by mixing the paint with water and spraying down the sofa. Um, chalk paint, not to be confused with the chalkboard paint, but chalk paint soak through the upholstery and it dyes the fabric. So instead of, you know, painting the fabric, you're actually just dyeing it with the paint. So I just worked in sections, making sure to get the fabric really wet and diluted. And I diluted the paint as well. I would like take my spray bottle and spray four to six sprays on the paint and then I'd mix it up and then apply that onto the fabric as well. And if I could go back in time, I would have used a round waxing brush and used circular motions applying the paint because my paintbrush didn't work very well and it took me several coats and I had to kind of use the swirling motions with, with the brush that I had to get like deep into the fabric crevices. So it took a lot of work and um, after the paint dried, I just re-wet it and I mixed more water with the paint, sprayed the couch again in sections and applied the paint again. And I repeated this process and it took me four coats of paint in about two days to finish the project. So there's the first coat. You can tell it's splotchy. There we go. All right, so there's how much paint I used, and I've been diluting it with water, a lot, a lot of water. The second coat. So here I am, I actually got a different water bottle because the one that I had just, it wasn't letting out enough water. So I filled this one up and I'm actually spraying the fabric also when I'm painting it. So this just helps dilute the water more so that way your fabric can kind of seep into the cushions and it's more like it's going into the fabric not over the fabric you want it to be diluted enough to where it can just like kind of soak into the fabric if that makes any sense and here I am taking my little tiny paintbrush and I'm just going along the trim you can use painters tape for this but I just uh, I just used my little paintbrush so here's the third coat. It's looking so much better. And the fourth coat. The fourth and final coat. Sanding block, you can use sandpaper or a sanding block. Just make sure it's a uh, fine grit. But if you're painting on leather or vinyl, you don't need to sand it. So basically just sanding it, it makes the cushions feel more like it did before you painted it. Cause with me, when I did it, it felt a little stiff, but when I used the, the sandpaper and I just lightly went over the cushions, it made it feel really soft again. And then I took this wax paint. I found this at Walmart because there is no CC Caldwell or Annie Sloan um, retailers close to Anyways, me. So I just used this uh, clear wax paint and I just, after I sanded it, I just wiped all the dust out and from then sand. I applied this wax coating to seal the paint. Um, I just used a rag. You could also use a wax brush. Uh, the sure. wax coating enhances it so you can protect it. It gives it that nice velvety look to it so you can like clean it and use it, set on it. <laughs> and um, I just applied the wa wax with a rag and I worked that wax into the pores of the fabric. Okay. For the finishing touches, I used these rhinestones with super fabric glue. And I just put the rhinestones onto the tufting with fabric glue for an extra pop of glam. And I love how it turned out. And I just think that it's such a beautiful statement piece for my office. It just has so much more personality than the pink couch that I would have gotten from Ikea. Yeah. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, I wouldn't say that this is like a one-day project, but it's definitely a weekend project if you're up for it. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you can go to the, I'll, I'll link it below, but I'm actually made up like a little recipe card for you guys so you can print it out and use it, you know, to get your supplies and you don't have to come back and keep watching this video. You can just print that off and do it yourself. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.